Final aero surface checks are complete, and Discovery's three main engines will be gimbaled through a pre-programmed series of maneuvers as a final test before launch. T-minus three minutes and counting. Final pressurization of the external tank's liquid oxygen tank is underway. DLS is go for ET LO2 pressurization. And we're completing the purge of the shuttle main engines. T-minus two minutes, 45 seconds and counting. TLT, OTC, clear caution warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. T minus two minutes, 30 seconds and counting. External fuel cell loading is terminated, and the gaseous oxygen vent hood or beanie cap is slowly being retracted away from the top of the external tank. OTC, PLT, caution warm memory clear, no unexpected errors. Copy and Discovery OTC, close and lock your visors, initiate O2 flow. T minus two minutes. Discovery roger. CLS is go for EP LH2 pressurization. Liquid hydrogen replenish on the external tank is now being terminated. The astronauts are closing their helmet visors, allowing their suits to be fully pressurized. T minus one minute, 30 seconds, and counting. All systems are go. We're about 90 seconds from the launch of Space Shuttle Discovery. T minus one minute, 15 seconds. The liquid hydrogen tank inside the external tank is reported to be at the proper flight pressure. T minus one minute and counting. The booster joint heaters are being deactivated at this time. T minus 50 seconds. Transitioning to orbital internal power. Discovery is now running off of its three onboard fuel cells. T minus 38 seconds and counting. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start at T minus 31 seconds. For auto sequence start. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. The sound suppression water system has been activated. And CLS is go for main engine start. We have a go for main engine start. And we have main engine start. Two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery, celebrating its 25th birthday by racking up science and supplies to the space station. Houston now controlling the midnight ride of Rick Sterko and his crew to the International Space Station. Discovery rolling onto the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Outpost. Thirty-two seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines soon will throttle back to 72% of rated performance down in the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic. Discovery three and a half miles in altitude, four miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Standing by for the throttle up call now from Capcom Eric Bowe. Discovery. Captain, go ahead, throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Rick Sterko, joined on the flight deck by pilot Kevin Ford, flight engineer Jose Hernandez, and Pat Forrester. Seated down on the mid deck are Danny Olivas, Christopher Fugelsang of the European Space Agency, and Nicole Stott, hitching a ride for three months on the International Space Station. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight. 
All of Discovery systems performing normally, 17 miles in altitude, 18 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. The onboard computer steering the shuttle for its precise path to the International Space Station. Discovery 37 miles in altitude, 54 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Three good main engines. Three good auxiliary power units. Three good fuel cells. Discovery, two engine maroon. Copy, two engine maroon. Three minutes into the flight. Everything going very well for Discovery. 47 miles in altitude, 85 miles downrange. The orbital maneuvering system engines ignited, Discovery kicking on the afterburners for 1 minute 52 seconds, assisting the shuttle and its crew on their climb to orbit. Discovery flying on the singular power of its three liquid fuel main engines, draining a half a ton of fuel per second from the shuttle's large fuel tank. Discovery coming up on the point of negative return where the shuttle will be too far downrange, too high in altitude to return to the launch site in the event of an engine failure. Discovery, negative return. Copy, Houston, negative return. Discovery speeding straight as an arrow on its night flight toward a date with the International Space Station Sunday night. Four minutes, eight seconds into the flight. Discovery 61 miles in altitude, 163 miles downrange from the Cape. All systems in great shape. 